Very good evening uh, to you once again. Leading our bulletin at this hour, the Northwest uh, Premier Job Mahoro has tested positive for COVID-19. This comes after the death of Northwest uh, Kokda MEC Gordon Kikakilwe. Kikakilwe uh, died yesterday following a short illness related to COVID-19 complications. The province has 6,410 6, cases, so that's 3.1% uh, of the country's total. 36 uh, deaths uh, have been recorded so far with 1,104 recoveries. The Northwest uh, Premier Prof Job Mahoronal joins me live uh, via Skype. A very good evening to you, Premier. Thanks indeed uh, for your time. Uh, good evening for the opportunity and good evening, Griselda, and thanks for the opportunity. Good evening to the viewers. Prof, um, how are you feeling this evening? Just a couple of hours ago, we heard that you tested positive for COVID-19. I, I, I feel highly energetic. Uh, you may be aware that uh, earlier in the day, at about 3 o'clock, I chaired a special meeting with EXCO. Um, in recognition of the excellent work done uh, by our fallen hero and colleague, M.E.C. Uh, Kihakilwe. Um, and, and so uh, life goes on. Uh, clearly, as a result of uh, uh, the positive testing, which incidentally uh, was triggered by uh, the un unfortunate incident of uh, uh, colleague Kihakilwe. Mm. I decided that I should do a quick uh, test and uh, fortunately the results uh, came out quite fast mm. uh, and um, as a result of that uh, I'm getting the necessary medical attention. Yeah. Premier? But, um, welcome. Yes, uh, Christella? Uh, Premier, uh, did you pick up any symptoms and um, uh, from what uh, you have gauged, uh, were you one of those individuals who had come into uh, contact uh, with the late uh, MEC? Um, not, not, not really, because remember, since lockdown, um, our engagement uh, as uh, EXCO has been largely uh, through virtual. Uh, and so every week, uh, the command council in the province uh, would meet uh, mm -hmm. virtually um, and we would also have exco meetings mm -hmm. uh, virtually um, so that we have really not come into contact uh, uh, for quite some time mm -hmm. um, so uh, it, it as i say mm -hmm. my going for testing was triggered by by what happened to him yes Yes. So clearly you would not have known a Premier, I guess. Uh, let's look at where the province is uh, currently at the moment. 36 deaths and uh, 6,410 cases. Uh, a Premier, I must ask, uh, you know, as head, uh, of course, of uh, the Northwest province, uh, are you not afraid perhaps uh, that uh, your illness uh, would somewhat delay efforts in the province's effort uh, to fight the spread? Yes, you've got to look after yourself, uh, but as the person leading this fight in your province, uh, um, is there some kind of sure that work will continue? Uh, certainly, the work will continue. Uh, ironic as it may sound, mm. uh, the fact that uh, I got tested uh, and yet I'm still uh, about uh, and, you know, doing the work that I have to do may be a sign to other people out there to mm. say, look, we know that we are all in a queue to be infected by this virus, mm. but it depends how you have been conducting yourself. Mm. Uh, in terms of physical exercise, in, in terms of your eating habits, uh, your compliance with good nutrition, which I have been doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so that I think uh, the sum total of all this will actually indicate uh, to all the people around the Northwest that yes, we have been, in, we have been informed by the experts mm -hmm. that all of us are waiting in a queue. But it does not mean that all of us are going to fall. Yes. And Job Mohora is one person who's going to demonstrate that. Uh, Premier, um, we also understand that there had been some health services that had come uh, to a halt in Blumhof, as well as Christiana, uh, as a result of 18 uh, health care professionals testing positive for COVID-19. Is this one of the challenges that the Northwest is dealing with in terms of the infection of those in the front line of this fight? Well, as we know, countrywide, uh, that, that seems to be a problem. But we also know that the Minister of Health, as well as the MECs of Health in respective provinces, 
uh, have been doing every effort to make sure that the PPE is prioritized for our health workers so that no health worker uh, would be allowed to work without the necessary protection. Mm. Uh, I have instructed the MEC for health uh, to rush to blue off and find out what the problem is. We are aware of that sad uh, incident mm. uh, and we are looking very closely at it. Mm. Uh, Premier, uh, let me just, uh, before we run out of time, is there any further details uh, pertaining uh, to uh, the laying to rest uh, of uh, the late uh, MEC? Any further details from what we had uh, last night? Well, uh, as I said, we've just had an exco, a special exco meeting, uh, and the focus was really to plan uh, for how we're going to conduct, uh, how we're going to do preparations uh, from now until the last day. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've appointed the political committee, which will be enga engaging with the family from time to time, as well as a technical committee that will make sure that, that the logistics are in place. I'm also right, as we speak, I'm writing uh, to the president uh, requesting that uh, given the status of uh, the late uh, MEC Kihakilwe, um, we should uh, uh, be giving him uh, a funeral status that is appropriate and uh, that fits the kind of work he's been doing. All right, uh, thank you very much indeed for your time. I'm afraid that's all we have time for. The Premier of uh, the Northwest, uh, Prof. Job Mahor.